Bram Hall, and I've been playing music professionally since I was 15 years old, mm -hmm. which was in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And I've had a career um, touring around the world and playing live music and also doing studio session work um, for that long. And um, for me, I had some uh, damage to my ears early on when mm -hmm. I was about 22. Mm -hmm. And um, it came from uh, a couple of uh, gigs specifically where I was playing um, these amps and I was playing them all the way up and I would go very close to the amps and I blew out my ears and from that moment I had tinnitus, really bad tinnitus and hearing loss from, from that, almost like a gunshot. Mm. Um, and um, so, you know, I lived with it and my ears progressively got, you know, worse and worse as I, was, I would play shows. After, after shows it would take about a week for the tinnitus to start to, to lower in the volume that it was. Mm. Um, so, you know, the most important thing for musicians and producers and engineers and people in the music industry and creatives is the ear, because um, that's pretty much everything. Mm. Um, now, when I came to see Dr. John at, or I took the test um, for my hearing and saw hearing loss um, in specific points and frequencies, we did this uh, treatment for the ears. Um, and uh, within two months after doing the treatment, there were um, pretty drastic uh, elevations in my hearing. Five to 10, but there was even an area where you had up to, you had 20 decibels of improvement here, from here, right? Right. Yeah. So this was the before we tested your ears. This is the right side, this is the left side, and then this is the, the post test, and this was the right side, and the, all those numbers up there are improvements. Um, and then we had quite a bit of improvement in the left as well. Maybe two or three weeks, I started noticing that, um, that I wasn't um, straining to hear people talk, even when I would be at dinner or if there'd be background noise. Um, it was much easier to hear people, mm. you know, especially with the high-end sibilance. Um, mm -hmm. that I was getting the, the um, catching the, the, the high end sort of T's and S's and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I could make out, I, it was no problem uh, making out what people were saying. So I, I'll be sharing this with a lot of the people that I know in the music industry. And for me, this is a game changer mm -hmm. because this is everything. You know, as people in all the people that I know that are, you know, um, losing their hearing and they're sitting there, you know, still working uh, with music, but they can't really hear as well. And it's, it's sort of driving people insane. Mm -hmm. um, so to know that I've had this level and I've, you know, I've gone for it, I play loud. Mm -hmm. And to know that I can get my hearing back yeah. is huge for me and the industry. Um, Sunave is, is uh, a protocol that uses um, lasers as well as um, stem cells, V cells that are injected into your ears. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's the combo of that and probably something else that I don't even know about um, that um, is, is showing these kind of results and it's been pretty across the board um, ineffectiveness. So mm -hmm. it's been effective with everyone he's, he's worked with. Well, thanks for watching. We have many testimonials like that one here at Advanced Rejuvenation that we're very proud of. And if you've been to lots of specialists and you've walked away with zero answers, this might be the answer that you're looking for. I hope to hear from you. If you have any questions or you'd like to email me or call me, feel free. And if you believe that rejuvenation is possible, then consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now.
Thank you.